Yeah, my topic today is using NPM workspaces for making management and complex SPFX solutions easier, right? Uh, why do we want to do this? Uh, wonderful. Um, I have customer projects which has one SPFX solution, two SPFX solution. I don't want to split them out in dedicated uh, repos. I would just want to have them, for example, just in one repo. Um, this makes it also easier to find the customer projects easier because I just have one customer, uh, one repo per customer. Uh, multiple SPFX web parts and extensions. The more we have in the single solution, the slows down the build chain. So I also want to uh, accomplish this with the NPM workspaces. And it's also should be easier to upgrade the new SPFX projects when we have multiple uh, GitHub repos. Then I also need to browse all the different GitHub repos for my customer and upgrade each solution alone. This I need to do as well, but in here I just have to check out one repo per customer and then I can upgrade to the latest and greatest new SPFX version. Another thing is what I love to do or what I love to use is NPM package instead of the SPFX component libraries, uh, which also runs on, on the same node projects. Um, I want to share code better between SPFX project and also like we all know the node modules folder gets pretty big over time but I also want to reduce and NPM workspaces enable us to to reduce the amount of, of space that it consumes on our hard disk it also brings us better automation and better testing across multiple projects so how does this look like or what is NPM workspaces in general NPM workspaces is a mono repo tool from Node.js you can use NPM or you can use Yarn and the monorepo, if you never heard this term before, it's a single repository containing multiple distinct projects with well-defined relationships. That's the official documentation or the, the official description of a monorepo. In our case, it looks like this. So I have on top the, the repo at all, then I have the SPFX project one, SPFX project two, and I can do this with endless SPFX projects. And then I can also put in two other things like component libraries does all these SPFX projects share or style guides, and they all share just one common node modules folder. So far the theory, let me quickly jump into how this looks in SPFX. So we have, as we have in the SPFX projects here, the package.json. So I'm here on the on the root of my project. I created the package.json here, which only needs to have the name, which is all customer one project. So all projects from my customer one. And then I can define in here workspaces. So workspaces actually matches the folders. So SPFX project one matches to SPFX project one. And this gives an indication for Node.js where to look for all these projects. And then I have SPFX project two and the library components. For SPFX, we need to do something special. And what you see here is in the script section. This script section allows me to start any SPFX project that I want directly from the root of the project. So I don't have to navigate into SPFX project one to start SPFX project one uh, to compile. So we have here the SPFX clean which then gives an indication where we have a variable in here where these uh, project folder is actually located and i did also the same thing with the spfx serve the spfx build bundle and package these are just the template pieces that i can then reuse for all projects the definition what you see how you can start for example spfx project one is here spfx colon serve which then npm run spx spfx serve and passes in this project variable that you see here as the node M, uh, as npm underscore config underscore project. So this will be automatically replaced with this token that I give in here. So when I add a new project, for example, then I only need to copy this block, change the variables, and I'm able to, to run this project in here as well. These are regular SPFX projects. What you see here, SPFX project one and SPFX project two. Uh, what we also have in there is the library component. And the library component, I keep kept it really simple. So this is just simply one TypeScript file, which has an export of a string in here uh, and has a package JSON, uh, JSON file, which actually defines that this is an individual package, which is currently version 1.0.1. .1. And the main entry for 
every script when you import it into another TypeScript solution, then it is lib main index. And that's all for, for this project. And what it simply does, it compiles this one into uh, this uh, JavaScript file. And I also can define this directly from the root what it actually should do. So the lib component build is the TSC TypeScript compile. Then the project name is in the library component and where the TS config is to find. And then I have also the watch. So I can also reuse it for development. What we also have in here, the test definition. So npm run test workspaces means that it runs all the tests over all the workspaces. And the if present means, for example, I haven't defined a, an npm a, a test for the library component or, or something like that. Then it completely skips this, this piece of the project. And of course, we sometimes need to clean out our node modules folder. So I have a clean colon in here, which does uh, remove all subfolders from all the node modules folder that I have in here. So this is the entry point where I can run all the scripts from here. When, for example, we want to start, uh, or let's say we do an SPFX, uh, we do SPFX serve, then I simply can go in here and you see I'm here on the folder. It's minus AL, make it a little bit bigger. Then I can simply uh, npm, npm run, spfx1, serve, and it automatically starts up the build chain. Of course, I don't have anything in here, so it starts this project. When I want to switch over, then I can also do spfx project2, and it starts project2, and then I can serve it in the browser. But what also this enables me some really cool stuff because I can directly develop the library component and the uh, and I can for for one I can reference the uh, library component as if it were a npm packet a npm package that I published somewhere so what you see here in spfx project 1 is the library dash component 1.0.1 the same thing that you saw over here so it directly references this project over here without any problem. And it also detects when I change something in here as well. So like I said, the node modules folder, we have a small node modules folder. The TypeScript version here is a little bit different. We have a small uh, node modules folder inside the SPFX project, which is the Microsoft React React DOM and scheduler, what we have in here. But the majority of all the node modules are can be found in here. So. Even though SPFX Project 2 uses the same packages, then it automatically goes to node modules uh, in, the, in the root folder. So what I can do now is, what you see here is, I want to develop something in my SPFX Project 1. <clears throat> As well, I need to do something and add something in the library component here. So what I can run now, I can run now in parallel. And here is the libcomp watch. Um, watch, if I'm not mistyped myself, yeah, of course I did, watch, and I can also say the SPFX1 and serve. Now I run both in, into, in parallel, so what you see here, the last, last output was from the uh, SPFX build chain. The first output there where there were uh, found zero errors, watching for file changes was from the library component. So when I go over to the library and library component, and let's say we change something in here, um, hello, sorry, library component and add SPFX here. So what you see here is it has automatically compiled the library component and the index has now this one in here. And in the SPFX web part, let me show you how I used it in here with the web parts is I have here in my web part project one web part TS one. I have imported the library component like so from the node modules directly. I have here debug the library component that it shows what it actually put out and I then get the web part direct uh, the, the string directly into my web part. This is a really simple sample in here. 
and let me go over to the browser. So this is the old version. Remember when I haven't when we haven't had the SPFX at the end. So what I need to do now is, and you will see this automatically refreshed on here. So the only thing that I need to do, and let's show you first the uh, the output of the console. So I save this now. Now the ESPFX build chain kicks in and we compile everything. And if I'm fast enough, now we have automatically the ESPFX at the end. I can show you this, that this really works and there's no rocket science. So I, let's remove the ESPFX or let's say here, ESPFX is all. Some save it here. Then, of course, I also sadly need to for now save the project web part as well. Now it refreshes and I have SPFX is awesome in here. And this is I can work simultaneously on the library component, on the SPFX component, and of course I cannot could also share this library component or different library components in the same npm pack uh, in the same GitHub repo across all the different SPFX projects. Um, the last thing is here, can I use it with PMPM? No, you cannot use it with PMPM. PMPM uses an experimental feature from Node.js, which it hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, it might disappear in future. You don't, it don't follow the Node.js standards. What I used with NPM, for example, you can also use Yarn. They use completely the same structure. Do you set up the script completely the same? NPM and Yarn in this regards work together with Node.js um, and with PMPM. You might see breaking changes in future, and it it has similar features, but they are really different to set up and do something in here. But I'm more like use what Node.js actually is doing, and, and that's why I use more likely NPM and and Yarn. And also, you find in the documentation, which I will then share with you after after this uh, you find a couple of articles so there's a blog post i did a while ago about using npm and yarn workspaces then there's the official documentation on npm workspaces and yarn workspaces the typescript how you set this up for a mono repo like this and there's some considerations from uh, uh andrew connell about sharing code in spfx solution why npm 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 libraries uh, versus library components in spfx Thank you.